some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to a courtroom in Tennessee where a no-nonsense judge takes on a, well, really inept Sovtard. But hey, inept is just a tip of the iceberg. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. About 2021 CR 19158, State versus Matthew Aldridge. <clears throat> You, are you Matthew, Matthew Aldridge? Are you Matthew Aldridge? Uh, I'm the attorney of fact for Matthew Aldridge. You were what? The attorney of fact. Okay, attorney in fact. Uh, well, uh, you do realize that that is akin to saying power of attorney, which I'm sure you already know, uh, but do you realize that doesn't mean that gives you the right to practice law in any state in the union without a law license, you douchebag? No, I suppose not, because most of you softards really don't believe in the law to begin with, which is why you end up uh, being tried by the law in the end. Such ridiculous irony, being tried by something that you don't believe exists. Huh. Attorney what? Of um, fact. Attorney of fact. And what does that mean? Are you a licensed attorney? No, I'm simply a attorney of fact. Okay. And does that mean you have a power of attorney? What is your name? What is your name? My name? Yes, sir. Uh, I don't have a You don't have a name? Pardon? I'm an attorney of fact for the respondent in the area. Well, let me explain to you. Only an attorney at law can stand in court and represent a criminal defendant. And to do so otherwise violates the criminal law statutes of the state of Tennessee. Whoopsie daisy! Oh, Softar, didn't you realize that? Uh, you can't be representing other people if you're not a lawyer. You can represent yourself, but you just can't represent other people. Now, I'll just drop this living corporate self and just present who you are, really, and uh, you should be fine. Uh, but I would also seek an attorney's uh, counsel if I were you, because you just uh, fell flat on your face, and that's not as a that's not exactly a good sign for your future representation right there. Because after all, a man who represents himself in a court has a fool for a client and could land someone who attempts to represent themselves as an attorney at law in um, serious trouble. I understand what you're saying. I understand you're saying an attorney in fact. And what I want you to understand is, is that if you have a power of attorney, then you need to demonstrate that power of attorney. Do you have a legal document called a power of attorney? No, I do not at this time. Okay. Then you don't have any authority to act on behalf of Matthew Aldridge in this court. You have no legal authority, nor do you have any uh, authority through a legal document to represent or, or to act on behalf of Matthew Aldridge. Mm -hmm. Why don't the court just let me file Show it to the bailiff and he'll show it to me. Oh, I, apparently there's a copy here. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, this is in the state of Tennessee of Cheatham County and Chantry Court, which is filed in the wrong county because in the wrong court because this is circuit court. You just be quiet. You go to the courthouse, it comes up. You need to listen to me instead of talking, okay? This is a challenge to the standing. The Supreme Court of the United States has stated that no corporation has standing anything to man. <clears throat> and then there's a quotation for a Rundle versus Delaware Raritan Canal Company. And then it said, as well as it being a maximum of law, citing certain uh, Latin uh, phrases, 
dissimilar things ought not to be joined by a definition of Black's Law dic Dictionary. And the respondent in error requires that the state of Tennessee Incorporated and Cheatham County Chantry Court prove their standing to proceed against a man in any court of law. You have 15 calendar days to prove your standing or forever yield to estoppel, waiver, and fraud, and cease and desist this proceeding immediately. More time is available if requested. Yeah, the ever uh, misquoted Black's Law Dictionary and the use of case laws this idiot has no comprehension of and no statutes mentioned at all. Typical sovereign citizen bullshit that doesn't get them anywhere. And, uh, well, in this case, it doesn't get him anywhere either. So a total failure on your part. Uh, dude, uh, get yourself some actual representation. Otherwise, you're going to be fucking yourself over in the next court session. And then this was signed by Matthew O'Neill Aldridge. Is that your signature? That's the defendant's uh, signature. That's the signature. Uh, all right. Well, I find that Matthew Neil Aldridge has failed to appear uh, in personally in this court for the plea day on his case, which was set for trial tomorrow. And as a result, you have no standing, sir, under the, the uh, what I know what you're trying to do is to try to use the sovereign citizen approach to this situation. And I'm simply telling you that you do not have the right to represent Matthew Neil Aldridge. If you are, in fact, Matthew Neil Aldridge, then you need to say so and stop this nonsense because that what you're attempting to do has no legal effect. You cannot challenge the criminal law or the, circ or the jurisdiction of this court by simply filing some legal mumbo jumbo having to do with civil litigation. <laughs> that has civil litigation in it. It is not a criminal case that you have cited. So it has no effect on this court regarding the criminal statutes of this court. This court is empowered under the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the state of Tennessee and by the duly elected citizens of Cheatham County to empower and enforce the laws of the state of Tennessee. And that is what I'm going to do regarding Matthew Lynn Aldridge. <clears throat> Mr. Aldridge is uh, set for today to appear in court personally on a, what we call our last plea day before his trial date tomorrow. Question. Is that an Article 3 trial? To what? Would that be an Article 3 trial? A trial by jury with jury? It would be a trial by jury, certainly it would be. But I don't know who you are. And I don't think you have any authority if you are not Matthew Lynn Aldridge to appear before this court and you're wasting valuable time to all of these other citizens who are here today. So when I'm Talking, you stop talking. No, nah. uh, you will when I'm finished talking. You are wasting the court's time by doing this, and I'm just simply instructing you that if you are, in fact, Matthew Lynn Aldridge, then this is your last day to settle your case. The trial date is set for tomorrow, and unfortunately, it will not go forward because of the fact that I have a conflict and I have, a, I have to be in Stewart County on a civil matter. So we're going to assign a new trial date for Matthew Lynn Aldridge. <clears throat> Now, is there a possible way to explain the jury lines? I'm just going to put a number of things on the panel. If they really need to be monitored, they need to be on February 1st. Is that possible? General, we're going to need to set a trial date in July. July 15th. I'm sorry. July 15th. July 15th. All right. 
to uh, Matthew Aldridge and the individual standing before me whose name must not be altered, uh, must not be all uttered, um, then we will set a July 15th trial date for Mr. Aldridge. <clears throat> Your, whatever this document is that you have filed um, is in fact invalid because it does not cite any valid criminal statute and therefore um, deny whatever that might be in the way of a motion. Yeah, the fact that you didn't cite anything of uh, relevance to this case continuously throughout this uh, session is very concerning. So, uh, like I said before, go seek legal advice before you uh, do a total face plant and wind up getting more time than uh, you should have gotten. Uh, because right now, you couldn't litigate your way out of a wet paper bag, dude. The trial date will be July 15th, the last day for Mr. Aldridge to enter a plea. Our go to trial will be July the 8th. July the 8th. Now, <clears throat> we're going to give you a card. If you are, in fact, Matthew Aldridge and you're just playing games with the court regarding this uh, nonsense that you filed, then you may get this card and you may go on about your business. If you are not Matthew Aldridge, then I would suggest to you, you relay to Mr. Aldridge that he must appear on July the 8th or a bond revocation will take place and his case will be set, uh, will take place with him in jail, incarcerated on the 15th. That's the judgment of the court. You need to take your piece of paper and go on about your business. Well, well now, given about oh, 20 years of uh, practice, this uh, uh, future attorney might just be able to uh, sign his name correctly on the uh, application for uh, three law classes. But I'm not going to hold my breath for that because... Yeah, this guy couldn't uh, litigate his way out of, uh, like I said, a wet paper bag because he couldn't even recite any uh, legal statutes. He couldn't do any research to save his life. Oh, boy. Long way to go with this idiot. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?